Hey everybody. Howdy. <laughs> Mo and Deb are cooking tonight and um, Deb, I have been to Costco. I love Costco. I'm here too in the produce section. I saw these beautiful tomatoes. Look at that y'all. And I know they're hothouse tomatoes. I realize that. They're not fresh it's, tomatoes. It's winter still. I mean, but spring. they were so pretty. So I immediately thought, mmm, I want to make a cucumber tomato salad. That sounds good. So that's what we're going to make tonight. What else are you going to do? You've got a lot of tomatoes. You're gonna... We're going to do some tuna salad and stuff mm -hmm. some, I know you don't <laughs> give that like tuna. We're going to stuff some of those in our tomato and you're not going to try it, but <laughs> yeah, she will not even try it. But uh, this is a really quick and easy recipe. It does marinate overnight for the oh. full flavor. Okay. So we probably won't be eating it today, Debbie, but I'll send some home with you. Okay. So what's first? Okay. So I have chopped up a, what do you call those cucumbers? Um, those long cucumbers. Burpless maybe, or I don't know. I don't know what they're called. Hold English on, cucumbers. What are these, y'all? They're wrapped in cellophane, which is aggravating a stew because it's hard to get that plastic off. But anyway, I've chopped up one of those and I felt like that was really enough, but it may not be, so I may need to be chopping some more. So that's about a cup and a half of cucumbers. And um, I've just kind of wedged them. I left the skin on. And then I chopped up a purple onion. And there's been a lot of discussion on our page about onions and- Woo! Smell it. it smells good. And this one actually made her cry too. So. Oh yeah. Uh, you could probably, could you use a different onion if you didn't have a purple you onion? You could use a white onion. A lot of people use white onions in their cucumber salads. Okay, I've also chopped up a green bell pepper. Boom. And all of these I'm chopping coarse, y'all. I'm not. Um, I want some bite size in here. Yeah, I want some bite size. I need a spoon or something. Okay, and so then the favorite part is these beautiful tomatoes, which I have chopped. Look at that. Is that pretty or what, y'all? I love this time of year with all the spring oh, vegetables. Everything's starting to. Show up in the grocery stores. Yes. And then another, you know, few weeks we'll have everything fresh. I know. I can't wait. I can't either. I know. I wish I had a place for a garden. Do y'all have a garden? I have a if you do. One. Yeah, Deb has a little garden. She grows some tomatoes. And what else do you grow? I uh, tried to grow Brussels sprouts. Didn't work. Um, <laughs> bell didn't peppers? Work. No, didn't work. Why not? It, they didn't grow, and by the time they finally did grow, they actually had some Brussels sprouts on them. You know, they come on mm -hmm. a stalk. A stalk. Mm -hmm. But uh, bugs had got into them by the time oh. they got there, so I didn't do something right. It took too mm. long for okay. things to grow. Well, you know what? No great loss, in my opinion. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so this is what your veggies look like, which are beautiful, oh, right? Pretty, yes. Okay, now, for the marinade, you're going to use, and I'm going to try not to spill it right here, a half a cup of white vinegar. And Deb and I are trying to cut back on the sugar. So really, I should not use this whole half a cup, but I'm going to, because that's what the recipe calls for. Half a cup of white sugar and a quarter cup of canola oil. Woo, you didn't spill a drop. Well, I did that was earlier, there. so. <laughs> yeah, that was already there. <clears throat> so I am just going to mix this up. Whip it up. Whip it good. Whip it good. With my handy dandy. What do you call whisker. that? Whisker. <laughs> With my whisker. We have a post on our page about the whisker. Yeah. Uh, I will repost it. But yeah. It works great. I've got to order me another one. Because, uh. We're having a set of three. There's yeah. three different sizes. And I don't even have one. I, I this one, I, I, I got a set of two when oh, I got okay. mine a long time ago. And I gave Lindsay one of them. Okay. My daughter. She needed one. I'm sure. Okay, so that's mixed up real good. And this is your marinade. And all I'm gonna do is pour it over my veggies. What do you think, Debbie? It looks yummy. Yeah, and I feel like I'm gonna get that sugar out of there. I'm thinking I would probably do a tad less sugar. Just yeah. just to I, mean, I think it could possibly go Well, one is. thing that the sugar's gonna do, it's gonna pull those natural juices uh, out of those, um, maybe not, no. out of those 
veggies, but you're right. I mean, we're trying to cut back on sugar, Deb and I both. And um, so, y'all pray for so, us. Because it's going to be hard. <laughs> we ain't going to like it a lick. All right. So, y'all. Is there salt and pepper? Does salt and pepper go with this or? No. Glad you said something. <laughs> There's some pepper. I knew they were sitting there for a reason. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to put a lot. Pepper like is it. okay, yeah. A little I'm salt. A little less salt. Okay. And that, my dears, is your cucumber Looks salad. Looks yummy. I know, and I know you're supposed to let it marinate, but I'm just gonna have a bite. Okay. You wanna try a bite? Yeah, I'll taste the cucumber. Cucumber. Taste the cuke. Or, or a mater. Let's see what, let's see what this tastes like. I know, I gotta have some of all of it. So there's me a tomato, a cucumber, and an onion. No sugar tonight. I can definitely taste the sugar on it. It does taste good, really good. I love that crunchy cucumber. Mm. That's going to be really good tomorrow mm -hmm. when it sets a little while. I mean, it's great today, but I can I just it. imagine it's going to yeah. be great, really good tomorrow. So this is a great thing, y'all, to take for a summer picnic or to take to a church fellowship mm -hmm. dinner or homecoming. It's or really pretty, pretty bowl, too. Mm -hmm. That's really, really good. you got to try it. Yep. Try it, y'all. It's good. See you later.